tonight, and then you scored the last two goals. Uh, you feel any responsibility in a tight game to, to kind of take that pressure and you know help help the team get the win? Um, I definitely think it was a team win. I think um, you know I just was in the uh, I had the opportunity to score, but I think you know it comes down to people like uh, not individuals, but you know like Kayla Kemi made some great plays. We had the ball back. Um, you know our D made some stops. Um, offense moved the ball well. So you know it, you just. I just ended up with the ball, basically. I don't think it had anything to do with myself. And, and emotionally, you know, what's it like, you know, in a tight game going back and forth? Um, you know, how do you kind of handle the ups and downs of that? Yeah, I think, um, you know, what we can take out of this is it'll help us down a stretch, and uh, we'll play more tight games. So, you know, we have two close games under our belt already, and we're only four games in. So I think, you know, we can take something out of this. Uh, and for, for Mally, uh, you know, what does it say about the team that, that you're able to, to get the win and hold on, uh, you know, even though, you know, it wasn't, you know, so it was so tight. Yeah, I mean, um, like I said, it's a dog fight every game. We're going to get the best game from every team we play. So I think it's just really immensely preparing ourselves for the games down the road where they're going to be close. Every team's gunning for us. So, you know, we just had to fight till the end, and we're going to have to do that all season long. And, and after the game ended, um, I saw that you guys had a long, long uh, huddle um, around the 25-yard line. You know, what were you guys talking about then? You know, um, Kayla came in and said, you know, before we say anything, before we complain, just to keep our heads up, a win's a win, and just to value that, so. For Kelsey, when things kind of started to fall fall apart in front of you, kind of, what was it like having all those attackers just kind of flying at you? Um, you know, it's just our defense is um, 12 people, actually, all, everyone on the field, you know. Um, so it, it was, it took all of us for them to score. Um, and I think that we definitely have some things to work on, uh, but you know we have a couple more days before BC comes in. So I think that we're gonna sharpen some stuff up and come back and have better um, defense for that game. For Mallory at the end, when um, uh, for our first name, but Pinkelstein. Uh, pick the pass, what kind of happened on that play? Um, you know, I think I was being a little too casual. We were kind of slowing it down for the clear, and uh, I had something planned in my mind, and she kind of read it, so it was a mistake on my part. What did you have planned? I uh, was just, you know, <laughs> secret, but uh, <laughs> I was, it didn't go as I planned, so we'll save it for later. <laughs> And Mallory, um, they had some really quick attackers. How do you feel like the defense responded to that? Um, you know, I think we responded well. We were ready for them to dodge hard. And, you know, this defense is probably, like, one of the most athletic and fastest defense we've had, you know, in a while. Um, so, you know, we're always ready. They were quick, but, um, you know, a very good team. But I think, you know, we can hang. And Kayla, on the offensive end, how do you feel like the team played as far as, like, moving around on offense, making cuts to the cage and things like that? Um, you know, we won, but I think we can uh, definitely improve on the offensive side. I think, um, you know, shooting-wise, we uh, we didn't really finish our shots. And, um, you know, I think other than that, we got shots. You know, we took, um, I'm not sure how many shots we took, but, you know, we got a lot of shots. We just didn't finish them. You know, we finished them. It's a different game. We're up by a lot more. Kayla, do you feel like you guys overlooked this game? I mean, you got two ranked opponents Monday, Saturday. This is the unranked team. Do you think you guys played up a little bit? Yeah, I think uh, UConn's a really good team, and they came out ready to play. They played hard. Um, they were ready to go. Um, I think we played a little casual. I don't think we overlooked them. I think they're a very good team. I think, you know, just, again, we got to tighten it up and, you know, stop playing casual. Um, you know, like you said, we have another big game coming up. I think three. we, had three, we have three big games this whole week. You can't have 23 turnovers against BC, right? Exactly. <laughs> I've never heard Freddie really. I've never seen a team score a goal and have the goalie and the defense run all the way from the one side of the field to come celebrate on the other side of the field. Did that fire you guys up at all at that point? I don't, don't really pay attention to that at all, but yeah. I mean, I've done that a couple times, but. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, when was the last time you did? Um, Kaylee's assist. Actually, yeah, Kayla, Kaylee had an assist um, two games ago, I think, and I ran all the way down to the field. So. I yeah. say it correctly. <laughs> no, I told them it happens. Yeah. <clears throat> for Mallory and Kelsey, what was the pressure like on the clears from uh, UConn? Um, I think we put a little more pressure on ourselves. Mm -hmm. I think, um, you know, we could have settled down. We were trying to for whatever reason, you know, quickly go. We, you know, we know how to clear the ball. We, you know, we're a great clearing team, so I think we just needed to kind of take a step back because, 
you know, it's a valuable possession that um, we need to take care of. Yeah, and just going with that, I think that a lot of the communication was lacking on our part, and, um, you know, we were trying to control the uncontrollables with the refs and things like that, so I think it just falls back on us. We need to focus more on ourselves and get back to how we play Syracuse lacrosse and come out flying against BC. So you were shaking your hands by looking at that stash at what was going through your mind? Uh, I thought I had a lot more than five saves. <laughs> That's what it was going through my head, honestly. But, um, you know, it just it happens. I don't know. Uh, for, for Kayla, uh, you know, when, when you kind of done that 4-1 you know, run, four run, run at a halftime, you know, you know, what are you talking about as a team and what are you trying to work on um, you know, to, to stop that and get the win? Um, I, I think when they... I'm not sure, I might be wrong, but I think we were up at that point still. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we were up at that point. Um, so just staying composed and, you know, we have the lead. So, you know, just trying to stay focused um, and getting getting our opportunities because we were getting the draw, you know, just finishing on them. Great. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.